Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's edition of IR Insight Live. I'm your guest host today, Lori Coulomb. And joining me is Josh Ellman, Senior Analyst of our NASDAQ Advisory Services team. Welcome back, Josh. Thanks for having me, Lori. Yeah, glad to have you. So we're here to talk about consumer confidence. Yep. Uh, what are you seeing? Yeah, so um, you know the consumer is feeling confident. If mm -hmm. you look at the last two readings of consumer confidence, uh, one of which being the University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index and the uh, Conference Board Consumer Conference confidence index. Uh, both are still at relatively high levels. Mm -hmm. uh, they come off a bit from uh, their uh, peak readings uh, at the beginning of the year, but still consumers are feeling confident based on those readings. So uh, the consumer is feeling uh, good about their overall uh, finances and the direction of the economy. Mm -hmm. um, so that portends good things for consumer spending. Um, if you look at some of the uh, credit uh, data, uh, mm -hmm. we recently got information from the New York Fed that said consumers took on a record amount of debt through the end of last year. And if you look at savings rates, um, they're still pretty paltry. Okay. So the consumer is not uh, running in to, to uh, fulfill those uh, piggy banks anytime soon. Mm -hmm. So uh, overall, the consumer is feeling very confident. Um, mm -hmm. Will that translate to excellent consumer spending? I think time will tell. Yeah, so what are the, some of the recent data points telling us about consumer spending? Sure, so we just recently got uh, GDP for the first quarter. And if you look at the headline number, that came out at 2.3%, mm -hmm. which was better than anticipated for overall GDP. Um, however, that was a decline from the last nine months of 2017 when GDP uh, grew at a level of 3%. Now, if you look into the weeds a bit um, in terms of consumer consumption, uh, from that GDP figure, mm -hmm. uh, GDP uh, consumer consumption growth was 1.1% during the first quarter, which was the weakest level of growth in five years, mm -hmm. and a decline from the la end of last quarter of uh, 4%. Mm -hmm. So all the um, you know, economists and prognosticators out there are coming up with the, the excuses as to why consumer mm -hmm. spending was rather lackluster for the first quarter. And we've heard about weather related issues, mm -hmm. uh, delays in tax refunds, um, concerns in terms of trade policy. Uh, but a lot of uh, economists out there are trying to figure out why we get these kind of uh, malaise periods in terms of consumer consumption growth for the first quarter and I think ultimately no one really has an answer but at the end of the day it was rather lackluster for the first quarter. Okay, so what are some of the factors that you think could help sustain momentum into second quarter and the rest of the year? Yeah, so um, we did see an uptick uh, in terms of consumer consumption patterns okay. uh, towards the end of the first quarter. So mm -hmm. I think there's some optimism to pull out of the first quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, specifically in March, uh, we saw better levels of consumption um, via some readings in terms of overall consumer spending. So hopefully that translates into the second quarter. Uh, we also have the uh, federal government in terms of fiscal policy. They've got their foot on the gas. Um, we have the unveiling of tax reform, um, obviously the first quarter was when we saw the first mm -hmm. um, impact of the tax reform, but uh, slowly but surely we'll get more and more benefit from the tax reform over, over time. And I referenced uh, tax refunds earlier. Um, there was quite a bit of delay around um, the government sending back those tax refunds. So you mm -hmm. should see consumers start to spend those tax refunds um, in, the, in the second quarter of the year. And then finally, in terms of what's going to help, um, obviously the stock market continues to be at uh, relatively high levels, near record levels, mm -hmm. and uh, the real estate market is, is very strong. So there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of good signs out there in terms of consumer that's great to hear. Yep. Are there any factors that you think could hinder momentum? Yeah, I do. I do. So um, it's starting to get a lot of talk. Uh, gas prices. Mm. Um, we're entering into the all-important summer driving season. And if you have a car, uh, you're starting to see uh, the price of gasoline continue to appreciate. 
Um, so uh, that's something to be concerned about. And also, mm -hmm. too, when you look at kind of the cars that consumers in the United States are buying currently, they're really purchasing larger cars, so it takes mm -hmm. a little bit more to fill up the gas tank. Mm -hmm. And that could put a damper on overall consumer spending, uh, mm -hmm. so that's a wait and see. And also, too, you do have the Fed um, slowly but surely increasing interest rates, uh, so that may put um, a little bit of uh, a, a way on the consumer mm -hmm. in terms of uh, you know some of the interest rates out there. And then some of the stock market volatility of late hasn't helped things. And then if you look at um, kind of the economic expansion in general, uh, we are well into um, you know a long economic expansion. I believe this is the second longest economic expansion on record. So uh, potentially we might be nearing the end of uh, this overall uh, period of, of strong growth. Okay. So last question. So. Anything else you foresee in the consumer spending environment to come? Yeah, I mean, I think this is a very important time. Um, mm -hmm. If you're going to look at consumer spending and where do we go from here, uh, there was uh, a lot of positives to take away from 2017, especially towards the end of last year. Uh, the first quarter of this year was not so great. It was pretty lackluster. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of excitement over tax reform. But again, some of those excuses came up, like weather, delayed tax refunds. But this is going to be a clean quarter. So ultimately, um, this will be kind of a make or break period to tell whether the consumer really ultimately wants to open up their wallets and spend. Thanks. And we'll definitely have you back at the end of the second quarter to talk about the quarters. Yes. So, so looking forward to that. Yeah, I'll be glad to be back. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for coming on the show today. Thanks, everyone, for joining us on Iron Insight Live. Uh, I'm your guest host today. Next week, Will Briganti will be back to host. Um, and to all the mothers out there, have a happy Mother's Day this weekend. Thanks very much.